hiya, I'd just like to take you through a few options that we have when it comes to colouring our stamped images. Now with stamping, we have a lot of versatility. There's a lot of different things you can do once you've stamped out your images. But something that I personally love to do is colouring my stamped images. But there are lots of options when it comes to mediums that we can use to colour our stamped images. But what we need to think about when we come to colour our stamps is what ink pad and what surface we're stamping onto. So I'd like to take you through two options today. Alcohol pens and colouring using your Rare Earth Reactions ink pads. So all I've taken is I've taken one of my Rare Earth stamps and now this is from the Rare Earth Oversized Floral Blossom stamp set. And I've stamped it out twice. Firstly, I've taken some super smooth white cardstock and stamp the image using a memento ink. Now when we want to colour with alcohol pens, like our Ink Lily alcohol pens, we need to stamp with an ink like memento so that the image doesn't bleed when we start to colour it in. We also use a super smooth cardstock to get the best blend possible when we come to colour using our alcohol pens. So that's why I've stamped using memento on super smooth cardstock to use with alcohol pens. I'm going to show you a little bit of colouring using alcohol pens in just a moment. However, for the second image, I've stamped again this same image from the oversized floral blossoms, this gorgeous lily flower, and I've stamped using Versafine. Now, Versafine is perfect for use with water-based mediums, whether that be colouring with water colouring with our inks, like our Reactions ink pads, whether that be when we're using watercolour pencils or watercolour pens, you'll find that Versafine doesn't bleed. If we were to stamp with a water-based ink, when we apply water over the top, the line of the image would migrate and move and we wouldn't get that effect that we'd like. So stamping with Versafine is perfect for a water-based medium. I've also stamped onto some watercolour card. Now you don't have to use watercolour card when you are using a water-based medium, but you will find you get the best results by using watercolour card. You'll find that the card doesn't warp as much when you apply water to it, as it can take the water better than a traditional card, perhaps like your Super Smooth. So I'd like to take you through a little bit of colouring and take you through the different sort of effects you can create. Because when we choose our colouring medium, that dictates the sort of look and feel to our project and we can get lots of different styles just by changing the medium that we're colouring with. So we can take the same stamp and get lots and lots of different effects, which is one of the reasons why stamping is so versatile and is a fantastic technique. I'm going to start with my alcohol pens. So my image that I've stamped using Memento onto white super smooth cardstock and I would recommend a heavier weight cardstock so something between 250 and 350 GSM is optimum. And I'm actually going to use a three pen blend of Ink Lily pens. So my darkest being number seven, my mid tone being 238 and my palest colour being 135. I'm just going to focus on one petal, but the technique will be the same for that entire flower. So I take my palest colour to start with and I'm using my brush nib. And I'm just going to fill in the area that I'm colouring using small circles, just like so. And that's just to get an even coverage of colour all over this area. Now, as you can see, under the piece of cardstock I'm colouring into, I've got a piece of white card. Now that's just a piece of scrap card and that's perfect just for protecting my surface underneath. So I've laid down that palest colour all over that petal. I'm now going in for my mid-tone which is a 238. I'm going to start from the centre and flick outwards. Now as you can see the stamp has given me an idea and an indication of where the shadows would be. So where there's more lines within the image that's going to be the darker areas when we come to colour. So that's where there's more shadow. So you don't need to think about light sources or anything like that. With our rare earth stamps, we have those clues, we have those shading in there already. So the hard work really has been done for you and you can just get on with the fun bit, which is the colouring. So I've just flicked using my brush nib to add a little bit of shadow into there. I'm finally gonna go in with number seven 
which is my darkest colour within this 3 pen blend and in the centre where it's more pinched in and there's more shadow I'm just going to flick outwards just to give that dimension and that shape to the petal. So as you can see very quickly and very easily I've just coloured in that one petal and by using alcohol pens you can see that we get quite a vivid, quite a bright and intense effect. You don't have to always have a bright effect with alcohol pens but you will find it gives you that beautiful blend, that seamless lay down of colour and quite a vivid effect. On the other hand we can use our um, water-based mediums to colour in our stamped images and it's actually brilliant to watercolour using your own ink pads. So this is the Rare Earth Pink Petal Reactions ink pad and I'm actually going to colour in using this ink pad. So don't forget ink pads are not just there to stamp, we can colour with them too, we can blend, we can create backgrounds. There's so many things we can do with ink pads so they really are a very worthwhile investment. So I'm taking this ink pad and I've got my glass mat. You need some sort of non-porous surface, so a piece of acetate if you don't have a glass mat or a non-stick craft mat is perfect as well. As we just want to smoosh out a little bit of colour from the ink pad onto our glass mat. Make sure you never apply water directly to your ink pad as what you'll end up doing is diluting the colour that's within that ink pad. She'll never get the true colour again and that's not what we want. So always squidge out some of the colour onto your glass mat or similar and work from there rather than adding water into your ink pad. So I've just got a pot of water and a paintbrush. Now you can use a water brush if you find it easier. I just personally find I have a little bit more control by using a paintbrush and water. But whatever works for you is brilliant and it's completely your choice, whatever you're most comfortable with. So I'm just wetting my brush and the important thing is to keep it not too wet as we'll end up flooding the cardstock and that's not what we want. So picking up a little bit of the colour, this ink that I've just squished out onto my glass mat and always remember to rotate your artwork just to make it most comfortable for you rather than getting your wrist to rotate in the direction of the way you want to colour. Just rotate the cardstock because it's a lot easier and a lot more comfortable. So I'm just applying a coat of colour onto there. So quite diluted, quite watered down just to fill in that area. Very much like I did with the alcohol pens actually. So some of the techniques are very much transferable between the different mediums. So that's given me a base coat of colour. But we want to add a little bit of definition to that. So I'm having a little bit less water on my brush now and a little bit more ink. Now I am only using the one ink pad in this case but you can use several. We've got lots of different lovely colours within the Rare Earth ink pad range. You don't just have to use the Reactions ink pads for this technique, you could use some of the blending ink pads instead if you like. And again I'm adding a little bit of more shading to that centre area where the lines are heaviest and that's where most shadow will be. So you can leave that to dry and actually go back in again with more colour just to build up the depth and dimension onto there. But you can see that's an incredibly quick way of actually colouring in your stamped images just using your ink pads. So something that a lot of stampers will have already, we have a lot of coloured ink pads but using them in a different way rather than just stamping giving us lots more versatility. So as you can see there are different shades of pink but you can see the different sorts of effects we can get by changing our medium that we're colouring with. So exactly the same stamp and very, very different effects. So as you can see, there's lots of options when it comes to colouring our stamped images. Just have a play, just have a go, but make sure you're using the right type of ink pad for the colouring medium that you're using.